The training was based on the Women's Council's manual on gender, political advocacy and leadership. Participants were expected to learn problem-solving skills and to eventually roll out the same training in their respective regions and districts. This training came at the right time. Why I'm saying that? The time we have voters now, just embassy, the time of comrade not putting Swapo party first, but uh, their interest first before the Swapo party. And now from here we learn and we'll go out with this message. Dear comrades, you must try to foster gender assertiveness around the challenges that not only impede the equal participation, but also create equal participation and representation as well as equitable development of a woman. Swapo Women's Council Regional Coordinator Teresia Kukenge said the workshop would encourage the party's leaders to support the integration of gender aspects into the party's internal decision-making processes and governance. We should aim to break the glass ceiling and to ensure that women and men are able to access and participate in all spheres of life in equal footing, including in democratic institutions, decision-making and the security sectors. We should aim for women and men receiving adequate and equitable protection of their human rights, including the right to live free of violence in a safe and supportive home and community. Participants also condemned recent cases of gender-based violence against women and children and called on women to stand up and voice their expectations and hopes to see these manifest.